Whether it's finally being able to give the smarmy villain of a game a well-deserved beatdown or just the thrill of finally putting a few hours worth of practice and skill to good use, the satisfaction that comes with besting a particularly difficult boss battle is almost unparalleled. However, some great games want to take you to the farthest reaches of frustration before allowing you the satisfaction that comes from that sweet, sweet relief. That's all part of the fun though, and the communal sense of euphoria that comes after defeating these big bad bastards is just about worth all of the controller throwing frustration they'll put you through. Just about. Just about. I'm Josh from WhatCulture.com, and these are 9 infuriating video game boss battles nobody beat first time. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to stay notified. Ding. Ding. Done. Number 9. Flame Lurker. Demon Souls. The first entry from the developers at From Software, Demon's Souls' Flame Lurker is an entirely different beast from the developer's other iconic enemies because of just how aggressive and devastating his attacks can be. It's such a demanding battle because the fight requires tactics rarely ever promoted in Demon's Souls, requiring players to reject the more defensive, patient, and tactical approach that serves as such a winning formula for most of the game. Instead, you'll be relying more on instinct and quick reactions to make it out to fight another day. He is admittedly weak to magic damage, yeah, but even if you're built specifically to exploit that weakness, you'll still be taking down a few times while learning his unpredictable attack patterns. So, good luck either way. Number 8, Lou the Devil, Guitar Hero 3, Legends of Rock. Unconventional as far as boss fights go, Lou the Devil from Guitar Hero 3 requires a completely different set of skills than players are used to when it comes to overcoming virtual tests of might. On the higher difficulties, it becomes even more ridiculous to even consider that anyone could have the dexterity required to defeat this boss. In fact, if there wasn't video evidence out there, there's probably no way I'd even believe that anyone could have the muscle memory and agility to keep up with old Lou on expert difficulty. Although there had been difficult songs in Guitar Hero games before, perhaps most famously through the fire and flames, this battle proved to be an entirely different beast, as it was never a case of only trying to see the song out to the end, but actively trying to outscore the devil who was also smashing it along with you. Number 7. Shao Kahn, Mortal Kombat 9 Shao Kahn has a history of being a ruddy difficult boss to beat in just about every Mortal Kombat game he's shown up in. Ever since his first appearance as the final opponent in MK3, the ruler of Outworld has always popped up to completely school even the best combatants. However, his appearance in 2011's MK9 takes the cake when it comes to being the cheapest final boss in a fighting game. While for the most part the rest of the title's one-on-one -on -one fights provide fair, challenging bouts, the final showdown with Shao Kahn is more of an exercise in luck and stamina than it is an actual duel. With attacks and combos that can take off three quarters of your health in the blink of an eye and an uncanny knack for blocking just about every punch you throw at him, defeating Khan often resorts to players using similarly stingy and shady tactics in an attempt to go to victory out of the brutal warlord. Number 6, Sephiroth, Kingdom Hearts. The final boss of Kingdom Hearts, Sephiroth, can be an absolute nightmare if you haven't focused on getting the most out of your HP upgrades. With the ability to knock your health down to a single point after one hit, the entire course of a battle with this difficult Final Fantasy staple has the ability to shift from a false sense of security to being crushed under the boss's boot in an instant. Although there are ways to beat him, the tactics needed required prior knowledge of what you were getting yourself into in the first place, so you have enough time to plan and prepare for this final engagement. Unfortunately, this information was conveniently lost in the post for most players first go at the title, and as a result just about every player went into this boss battle with no idea of the pain and punishment they were about to endure. Poor souls. Number 5. Alma, Ninja Gaiden. Before From Software came along to solidify themselves as the go-to guys for difficult video games, the 2004 Hack and Slash and Ninja Gaiden was considered the most hardcore gaming challenge when it was first released. Hard to play and even harder to master, beating this tasking title brought some pretty respected street cred to anyone who could overcome its wide array of challenging set pieces and daunting boss battles. But the hardest of them all came from facing off against the colourful and intimidating Alma. Despite how hard she could hit you, and boy could she she hit you hard, it was actually pinning her down to get an attack in yourself that was the most frustrating thing. However, for as difficult as Alma was and is, the most memorable part of her battle was just how satisfying it was to put all of the skills you had honed throughout the game to work, culminating in an encounter that looked so visually stunning that it almost offset the frustration of having to restart over and over again. Almost. 
Number 4, Orphan of Kos, Bloodborne, The Old Hunters. The Orphan of Kos is as devastating as it is terrifying. Literally crawling out of its mother's womb to fight you with its placenta, this DLC boss doesn't look all that challenging at first. Hell, for the first half of the fight, you might not even have that much trouble dodging its attacks and even getting a few hits in here and there yourself. Those few hits are more of a complimentary way of allowing players to gain a bit of confidence though, just so Kos can proceed to smash the absolute f out of it afterwards. Changing his attacks to be far more unpredictable, the boss will start jumping about the screen at lightning speeds, laying into you with some ridiculous ranged and AoE attacks, then swooping in for a killing combo. Despite being an extra DLC, boss Cos is probably the toughest challenge Bloodborne has to offer, and those dastardly devs made you pay extra for the punishment. Number 3. Mike Tyson – Mike Tyson's Punch-Out Perhaps one of gaming's founding forefathers of painstakingly difficult final bosses, it was obvious that the final fight with Tyson himself was always going to be a tiny bit more difficult than the other opponents you had faced in Punch-Out so far. In fact, it often feels like you're never going to reach the head honcho in the first place, especially if you're playing one-handed with Scott and can't even get past the second boss, what the absolute hell man. Iron Mike himself could be beaten quickly if you could fight him in a row, but if you stumble out the gate and get taken aback by Tyson's frantic flurry of jabs and hooks, then you're just shit out of luck, because that mistake will cost you the entire game. In classic old school fashion, snuff it against Iron Mike and you'll be starting right back at the beginning, with a laborious climb ahead of you if you even want the chance to face off against the boss again. <sighs> what's, what's, what's the point in anything? What is the point? Number 2. Ornstein and Smile, Dark Souls yeah, you knew these two big bastards would be on this list at some point, but it wouldn't be a video about video game bosses without Ornstein and Smau now, would it? The one-two punch of a boss battle is easily the hardest section of 2011's Dark Souls, and quite frankly, one of the most challenging boss battles ever seen in any video game ever. Hell, I know even mentioning it around Scott Telford gives him Nam-esque middle distance flashbacks, so yeah, don't do that. Just fighting one of these guys would be hard enough, but the fact that they can both rush you means that facing off with both proves to be a case of long haul endurance and occasionally pure luck. Usually you gain a sense of renewed confidence if you take out one of a pair of bosses in a game, but with Ornstein and Smau, the stakes only get higher the longer the fight goes on. Number 1. Psycho Mantis – Metal Gear Solid Far from being the hardest boss in this list in terms of how much you'll need to apply yourself, figuring out the Psycho Mantis battle in the original Metal Gear Solid caught every player by surprise upon the title's first release. Because Mantis can read your mind and even your memory card, this playful boss requires some equally out-the-box thinking if you don't want him blocking all your moves. You could theoretically slog through the encounter, but it was only by inserting the controller into the second player port that you could nullify Mantis's ability to predict your attacks. Then it's just the simple task of putting enough bullets into him to take down a small army, and you're done. So while Psycho Mantis might not have been awfully challenged after you broke his illusion, the frustration that came with not knowing how to overcome such controller part reading prowess was certainly enough to see players restarting the game more times than they'll be willing to admit. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe below, and if you're looking for more content like this, then try a few things that are floating about around my ears. It might be fun. I can't promise it though, but it might be.